Hey there, festive friends. I'm Kenda with Finn Real Estate Group. I live full-time in Los Cabos, Mexico, and today I want to chat with you to explore kind of the vibrant culture of Christmas celebrations in Mexico. And of course, we'll be talking specifically about Los Cabos, where Christmas gets a little bit more of a beachy twist. Christmas in Mexico is festive and culturally rich, and it combines religious traditions and vibrant local customs. The Christmas season in Mexico typically begins in early December and extends through early January. Now, of course, traditions can vary among families and communities, and individuals may incorporate their own personal touches into their celebrations. Also, the cultural landscape has and will continue to evolve over time. So there may be new trends or adaptations in the way Christmas is celebrated in various parts of Mexico. If you're planning on experiencing Christmas in Los Cabos or anywhere in Mexico, it could be worthwhile to check out the local events and activities that are happening during your visit. I think it would be worth it. Now before we jump in, please fulfill my holiday wish and give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel so you'll be updated when I release any new videos. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, first, let's talk about the posada. Traditionally, a posada was a lively way to kick off the holiday season. A posada is a Mexican Christmas celebration that reenacts the story of the journey of Mary and Joseph seeking shelter in Bethlehem before the birth of Jesus. The word posada means in or shelter in Spanish. This event typically takes place over nine nights leading up to Christmas Eve or December 24th. During the posada, participants form a procession and go from house to house, representing Mary and Joseph searching for a place to stay. The group sings traditional songs, which are specific to the posada celebration. Participants ask for shelter by singing the verses and then the homeowners respond also in song, denying them a place to stay. This back and forth singing continues until the procession reaches a house where the homeowners agree to let Mary and Joseph in. The door is opened and the group is welcomed inside for a celebration, which includes, as always, food, drinks, and often the breaking of the pinata. Nowadays, posadas are not only religious events, but also social gatherings that bring communities together during Christmas season. Sometimes posadas are holiday parties that celebrate the season with coworkers and friends. Here's a fun photo of our recent Finn posada. Buena rolls around, families across Mexico gather for a feast that's nothing short of a culinary masterpiece. Tamales and other festive delights are served. No Mexican Christmas is complete without the iconic piñata. These are star-shaped explosions of color filled with treats and sweets and bring joy to both young and old. Now in the U.S., we try very hard to get our kiddos into bed early, so Santa can get started with with his presence but silent night on christmas eve it's not really a thing here most families here do all their celebrating late into the night and early morning with loud music and a lot of laughter gifts are also exchanged as well on noche buena christmas eve is the major event one of my mexican friends told me that she's always surprised when americans or canadians ask her like what she's doing for Christmas Day. She's like, I'm sleeping off Christmas Eve. What are you doing for Christmas Day? Well, one of the major differences I see in Christmas celebrated in Mexico is in, re in regard to gifts. Gift giving is not the focus like it is in the United States. Usually people only get one or two gifts on Christmas Eve. 
Now there are more gifts exchanged on Three Kings Day, which happens later in January, on January 6th. But the emphasis for the Christmas holiday is on spending time together. And as Mexico is a Catholic culture, celebrating and reenacting the nativity story. Now, just when you thought the fun was over, December 28th arrives with Dia de los Santos Inocentes. It's like the Mexican version of April Fool's Day. It's a day filled with playful pranks and contagious laughter. The pranks are always lighthearted and they are enjoyed by all. I think what sets Los Cabos apart in the Christmas celebration landscape is its coastal influence and specifically the tourism. Beachside celebrations, outdoor events, and seafood feasts take place and they take advantage of the gorgeous weather. The tents are still in the 80s. Most resorts go all out blending local traditions with international influences to create a holiday experience that's both festive and very luxurious. It's a Christmas like no other. Well, there you have it. A glimpse into the wonderful world of Christmas in Mexico with a special focus on the coastal magic of Los Cabos. Whether you're breaking pinatas on the beach or enjoying a midnight celebration with the sound of the waves in the background, Christmas in Mexico is a fiesta filled with warmth, laughter, and unique traditions that make it really, really special. So I wish you a Feliz Navidad to you and yours.